Hello, uh, welcome to Tarot Tuesday. I'm back and I'm requested to do this because I've been told I'm not that bad at it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go with what my my peeps are saying and we're going to try to just go with the flow. So let me just make sure the energy is right and I'm in a good space and um, my spirit guides can talk through me to give you answers and I'm going to do one pull one card for each sign um, and we'll take it from there so with my beautiful I'm gonna clear the energy I cleanse myself of negative energy, energy that doesn't belong to me. I bathe myself in acceptance, love, and forgiveness. Please let my spirit guides allow answers to the collective and that I'm a vessel to help answer some of those questions for them. Amen. So, I have been having a pretty good week. I've been walking and drinking lots of water, lots of water, and loving it because that's what that's what we do. That's what we do. So, mm. I'm gonna pull 12 cards in in order. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you a collective reading for this week. Um, I'm pretty excited because I haven't done this in a minute and uh, I can't wait to see what comes up. <laughs> so, let's see. Mm, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And on that, and I'm going to start with Aries. Okay, Aries, so... Seriously, what are you thinking about that's that important? Like, can you just let it go? Can you stop thinking about all these things in my head? What should I do? Oh my God, what is happening? Ooh. You're cool. You're good. Stop thinking about it too much. Just do, take your actions, do what you need to do, and call it a day. Don't ruminate. Don't overthink just do you're the sign of action take action stop thinking yeah it's all in your head and yeah you mm, just do what you got to do one foot in front of the other you take an action then you take another action before you know it it's resolved Aries next card is Taurus okay Taurus what are you running away from? Seriously? Like, you're always running away from something and you're always ungrounded and you're always not taking it too seriously and you're always finding an escape hatch. Always. You know you. I know you. You know you. So can we just calm down and maybe not run away? Maybe can we stay? Can we figure it out? Can we talk it out? Is that possible? Hmm. That's an idea. Oh my God. 
Four of Swords. Well, honey, I don't know who invited you to the party. <laughs> four, no, Four of Wands, I'm sorry. Four of Wands. I don't know who invited you to the party, girl, but can you not show your ass when you get there? Because we want to have a good time and we don't want to get kicked out, but obviously you were invited and we know how you get. So can you calm the F down? Can you stop trying to control the agenda? Can you just enlist, just let the circus begin? You don't have to jump in the middle of the ring of the circus. You just try to enjoy the show. And uh, after Gemini is Cancer. Ch cancer, you got a new beginning. You started new things. You're running into like real purpose and it's all new. You have some new ideas. Um, and just let your let that let that spirit guide, let that joy of spirit, let yourself go and let yourself enjoy. Um, just let yourself enjoy the experience and be in the moment because you're already in that euphoric moment anyway. So just keep dancing in the sunlight. Keep dancing in the moonlight. Just keep dancing to your own rhythm, to your own drum. Because you're, you're, you're starting it out, the new year out, in a really joyous place. And don't stop. Okay. Leo. Okay, child, Leo. Leo is the king of cups. He is trying to say, I am... Who you in love with, Leo? Who you trying to love? Who you thinking about? Who you got your mind on? Who you focused on? Who's thinking about you, thinking about them, thinking about you? Okay. Keep going. Keep on keeping on. But you are, in fact, in love. And that's what you love. You love love. So don't stop loving. Keep loving. Keep loving. Virgo. Virgo is the ace of swords. You need to make a decision right now because your mind keeps spiraling out of control. Virgo, you little virgin, you little virgin, you little virgin. Everything is so new and scary, little Virgo. Ace of Swords, you better make a decision because, child, they about to pull down them panties and show you what a virgin needs. You don't want that. You want them to be gentle. You don't want them to be rough. Whether it's ideology, sex, or just work, because you love the work too. And it's okay to say you ain't, you don't know what you know when you don't know it. Okay, what's that the Virgo? Is it Libra? Libra? Oh my God, child. Honey. Some, you be, besides spying on everybody, and thinking you know what's up. You don't know what's up because you don't know what's up. You think you know everything. Unfortunately, you don't know shit. Sorry. But you're willing to jump, which is good. And you, you're you willing to be to start a new page. You're willing to, like, be referential. But you need to let some of those ideas that you have You need to turn them on because they're good ideas. You have some great ideas. Why are you fighting yourself with these great ideas? Just do it. You have great ideas. Go for it. And Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 Tyler. I'm a Scorpio. Sun, Venus. Shall I say any more? Uh, we are just seeing we're at the end of a cycle, honey. All these crazy thoughts and crazy ideas about whatever, we're done. We're over it. 
and we're we're walking forward towards a new existence all these crazy ideas we had in our heads all these things that didn't work for us we're flushing moving on because what's in front of us is so so much more amazing than what's behind us Sagittarius Sagittarius look at you the Knight of Pentacles. Child, you trying to bring some love and some stability and some money to a situation? You keep doing that. Because you know what? It's going to work out. Sometimes if you just show up with a helping hand, with uh, an open heart, don't rush. You know when to show up when someone's going through it. And it's going to work out for both of you. I guess this was a love reading or a work reading or I'm not sure. But you're, it's on your side, Sagittarius. You just keep working it out. Mm, 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 mm. Capricorn, as usual, you Russian seven of cups. You don't know what what cup to turn. You got so many. You you got okay. Half of your ideas and half of your visions are out there, and you need to figure out what's real, because what you're figuring out is that most of what you think is real is not real. So. If you don't know, you 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 should under you should know discernment at this point. You should figure it out. You should know that maybe that's an illusion. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay. Are you in love? Are you trying to unite with someone? Are you trying to show them your cup of love? Are they embracing it? Are you embracing that love? Are you trying to hold on to that love? Are you trying to grab that love? Are you trying to let that love know that you really do? That you're in love. You have, you're not thinking about it. You feel it in your heart. Tell that person that you love them. They're ready to hear it. Be brave. Be bold. Take your time. Know that it's right. Because it is. It's okay to be in love. And it's okay to say you love someone. And that vulnerability. It's scary, but just grab their hand. Hold their hand in public. Hold, you know what? Hold their hand in public, Aquarius. That'll say everything. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Because they love you too. In Pisces, what? The Queen of Swords. You are looking at a future that's on a horizon. But you are no idiot. You have lived... You have learned, you have loved, you have been through it, and you have, you are the reason why other people are healed. You're a healer, and you're going to, you're going to foreign shores, you're going all over the world, you're showing, you are the queen of, let me just tell you right and wrong, let me tell you what's left from right, let me tell you what we're working with, 3D, 5D, you are letting the world know that you are arriving and you're bringing it's all up here you got it you know it you've lived it and thank you for your information that you're willing to share on these new shores so that's my reading for all signs and the collective hopefully you know i touch on some things that you uh, that will help you and are relative to your life. If not, just throw it away. But do subscribe and do share with others. Um, 
my Tara, like, I only came back because people say, hey, you know, you got, you got a gift. I'm, you know, I'm a little insecure about my gifts. So I appreciate if you tell your friends about my gifts. <laughs> That'll just help me feel more confident. So thank you so much for coming back. Please like and share and subscribe. And I love you. And please come back again. I will be more very consistent now. I'm, it's a new year and I'm gung-ho. I'm ready to just shine. And so I'm ready. But I appreciate you all. I love you. And do come back. I'll see you soon.